Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Schoology to create uh, some quizzes or tests that can be synced immediately into the gradebook. So when you sign into your Schoology account and go to one of your courses, you will be able to, I'm just going to go to my honors algebra here as a demo. You look at the top of the uh, page and you will see something that says add materials. So click on add materials and you'll see folders, assignments, tes tests and quizzes, etc, etc, and all these other things. Go right to test and quiz. Uh, now they don't make any differentiation between what's a test and what's a quiz. Um, you can if you'd like. but um, So go ahead and let's start creating our first one. And I'm going to create a multiple choice test as a way of doing what we call a uh, formative assessment. Very few points just to see whether they understand the basic concepts that sort of thing. Maybe it's as a homework check. You know, it could be in any number of uh, reasons to create these quizzes. But let's put a name in here, and I'm just going to call mine a warm-up quiz. Okay? You can see I have some warm-up quizzes on things that I have actually done before. I'm going to put a due date, and today happens to be the 27th. Let's just do that uh, by midnight, and I'm just going to make this only worth, let's say, three points. Okay? Now, uh, once you've put all those points in, you do have some grading options. Now, I category-wise, I'm going to call this a warm-up. So I have a category of quiz that are just worth three points apiece, and it'll go directly into my PowerSchool gradebook with this category already set up, which is a real nice advantage, right? I can actually... Uh, do grades, just letter grades, or I can just do numeric. And I tend to do numbers because I think it's just a little bit easier. And I do have some grading options. Uh, I need to probably put which period it's going to be in. Uh, for example, is it going to be first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, et cetera, et cetera, or just in the whole school year. All right. And I'm going to hit create. When I do that, this is what you'll see. Okay. Now I can start actually adding the questions that I have. And these are the type of questions that you have available. You can create true-false questions. You can create multiple choice questions. You can uh, put these in a particular order, give them a number of choices, and say put this in the correct order. Short answer, an essay, fill in the blanks, matching. I can import from question banks so I can have saved, for example, a number of questions that I already made. And I can just go ahead and import them from my resources up here. I can import a quiz or a test from a third source, and I can show you how to do that in a different video. And uh, don't worry so much about these right now. Uh, let's Something to notice here, though, is the only ones that will automatically be corrected by Schoology itself are the true, false, and the multiple choice ones, at least of the ones that I use. Short answer and ordering will not be. You're going to have to hand correct those. So maybe they're not as uh, important to use for immediate feedback, or maybe Schoology is not really the platform that you want to use to give them immediate feedback. I'll, although there are, like I said, advantages to keeping it online. Let's just do a multiple choice test and I'll show you how it looks. Um, I usually create a multiple choice test by saying something like uh, giving it a topic name. So I'll say something like radical equations. Okay? And that's like the topic sentence that I use. And I usually make it really large and I give it a color. And that way, when I save it for later on, uh, I will be able to locate all the radical equation multiple choice questions, right, that I have. Now here's an example, like uh, I would say something like solve the following radical equation, okay? And then I will just go ahead and insert an equation. I can Now this little uh, bar up here has a number, it's, it's basically just a word processing program, right? A very simple one. So you can actually make the question look any way you want. You can insert images in here. Uh, there's an equation editor, as you see I, from here. I can put in a link. Uh, this equation editor I found really useful for math. So I would just do something like this, you know, um, 2x plus radical uh, x. Let's just find the radical sign. There it is. 
plus radical 4, okay, equals uh, 5. There we go. So there's my equation. There it shows up. I'm going to center that. And then I'm going to give four choices. Uh, now you can actually add more choices if you want to just use four, or you can remove four choices. You can make it down to three or even to two. Um, I'm just going to put in some random numbers here. Two, uh, three, four, and five. Now I could just go over here and just hit the edit button and it does the exact same thing. So it brings up the same little toolbar and I can create some pretty elaborate answers. I have to choose one of these as correct. If I wanted to add a choice, I would just go there and now it gives me a fifth choice. If I want to remove one of the blanks, let me just do this. It would just remove that one. Now here's the nice thing too. I can randomize my choices so that when kids see it out in my class, no two kids will see the exact same order of answers, nor will they actually uh, see, well actually I'll talk about that in a second. If two of the answers are correct, I can allow for partial credit. And if I want to time this, I say, you know, you only have like a, a 15 minutes to do this whole quiz, I can do that as well. Change the number of points. I usually just make them one. And then I hit create. And this is what you'll see. There's my first question. All right. Now, when I go up to, uh, and then I just add three, two more, so I'll have a three-point uh, quiz. Now, the other thing that I want to look at is the settings. This is how it's going to roll out to the rest of the class. Usually when I make these quizzes, I have them hidden, okay, because I don't want the kids to see it yet. I might make it like the night before. And if I know that I'm going to be absent, for example, I can actually just choose make available uh, from this time period to this time period. So it will automatically appear while I'm gone, uh, again, without me being there to do it manually, right? Uh, normally, I just hit uh, hide now until the time of the test. I usually don't give timed quizzes. I don't find that all that important to do, quite honestly. Uh, you can give them a number of attempts at the same quiz. Okay, um, now here's a feature that I like. I like to randomize the order. So again, uh, no two of my students will see the exact same questions at the exact same time. So question five might appear first for one of my quest for one of my students. Question three might appear first, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Although it does keep track of all that for you, you don't have to worry about that. Um, can they go back and change their answer? Uh, question review so they can go back and look. Is it resumable? So if they're gone, let's say after a split break, can they come back and, and start the quiz up again? Uh, you can do yes or no on that. And then finally, once they're finished and they submit, do you want them to see the answers immediately? Or do you want to wait and then just do that together as a class? I usually tend to have them, uh, I have them so they don't see the correct answer. And then I just wait till all the uh, questions are finished. Now, let, let me show you what I mean by that. After kids are taking the test, and, uh, excuse me, while they're taking the test, I can go up here and I can see, here's my class, I can see who's finished by their, uh, by their submission, all right? So I can say, like, you know, uh, uh, Senna, you, you still, you know, you still have just a couple of minutes. Could you finish up in a couple of minutes? Because everyone else is finished, and I let them usually do other work in the meantime. When that's done, when I see that every single one of these has been submitted, I go up here, and by the way, there, I have two toggles here. I can toggle to the student view, which is this one, or the question view, which is this one, right? And I can actually see how, what percentage of kids got this question correct. You can see where it says, uh, Actually, it's not, it's not up here in this one because I don't have anybody taking this test. But uh, I can say, like, you know, 0.85 got it correct, 0.15 got it incorrect, you know, 85% or 15%. And what I can do, and I can see who actually were the students that got those wrong as well, which is also kind of a neat feature. Um, what I usually do is after I've seen all this, right, and I can actually say something like, everybody got question five incorrect. So then I will do a short 
targeted, what I call a hit and run lecture, 90 seconds. We'll go over that question and then we'll, we'll find out what people did wrong. All right. Or if I see only two or three people got that question incorrect, everyone else will continue on in that daily folder doing some work. And then I'll bring those two or three kids up and then we'll talk about specifically why they got that one wrong because it's a more differentiated type of instruction rather than keeping the whole class there for only two or three uh, kids. Finally, when this is all finished, I'm going to go over to my power school and then I'm going to sync the grades, right? And that's actually in another video, but those go in immediately. So really within seconds of, of finishing that quiz, it will go into their grade book with some targeted, like I said, instruction. So I hope that was helpful, a little bit long, but uh, a valuable, valuable thing to do is the quizzing and testing feature. And I would say recommend again, use it not for like these real summative kind of assessments, you know, where it's like at the end of your, do you actually know all this stuff? But I usually use it for like homework checks and I make it a very, very small amount of points. And I find that that's been very effective. Okay. I hope that was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions.